Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my um, items that I ordered during Black Friday, Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, Black Friday week. <laughs> I went a little crazy. Um, it's all, it is all skincare and it is all um, Korean beauty skincare. So I am so excited to share all these items with you. So um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Janie and welcome. I do post videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And I do a little bit of lifestyle, beauty, and a little bit of luxury thrown in here and there for good measure. So if you would, please um, click on the little subscribe button. Also click on the little bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos because there will be a part two to this video because I have not received everything in yet. But I wanted to go ahead and get started with it. So, because I want to start using some of this stuff because I'm very, very excited about it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is a PR product that was sent to me through Othaly. And the reason why I'm putting it in this video is because it is a Korean skincare and you can order it from um, one of the companies that I ordered from for my um, Halapalooza extravaganza here. Um, you can get this brand from Sephora now. Sephora has started carrying it. Also, um, I became first introduced to this brand um, last year when I made an order on Peach and Lily. And the brand that I'm talking about is this here. And it's called Saturday Skin. And this is the item that was sent to me. Um, this is a hydrating essence that you spritz on your face um, and so it looks like this here it's in a very pretty pink bottle it is a plastic bottle and like I said you can get this at Sephora now or you can order it from um, Peach and Lily you can see how much I have already used and basically you can use this um, before makeup you can use this over your makeup to refresh the skin it's just a nice little um, refresher it really helps to hydrate the skin it has um, a child 7 as complex um, which has um, peptides in it um, that's supposed to help for regeneration the skin regeneration this is a two-in-one hydrating essence mist that tones and revives your skin and like I said you can use it under or over your makeup um, it's great for all skin types um, it's formulated without parabens or sulfates or synthetic fragrances or colors and it's cruelty free and dermatologist tested so um, it has a lot going for it. I have very much been enjoying it. When I use it for an essence, I like to um, spray it and then kind of pat it into the skin. But as an over makeup um, refresher, like I just did, just spritzing it over the face. It is so nice. Um, you can use it daily. You can use it two or three times a day just as a little pick-me-up. And just kind of helps. On the box, it says that it's a daily dew hydrating essence mist. And the, um, it is 4.39 fluid ounces. So, highly recommend this brand. This brand in general, the, Sca the Saturday Skin. I got started with this by using um, their sheet mask. And so, that is going to lead me into the items that I did order from Peach and Lily. Um, on Black Friday, they were doing 30% off site-wide, and so I took very much advantage of that and purchased a few things, and one of them being from Saturday Skin, and I ordered some sheet masks. Well, okay, more than just some. Quite a few, <laughs> quite a few sheet masks, but I do like these. This is the Saturday Skin. It's the Spotlight one. It's for um, brightening, and it's just a sheet mask. And I don't know. I think it's going to be too blown out for you to see it. Too much of a glare for it to say, but it does say Saturday Skin right there. 
But basically, the whole concept between by the Saturday skin is that, um, and I'll read it off of this card here that was sent with it. It is um, a collection is a recipe for radiant, rested skin like the perfect Saturday. Time to slow down and your face lights up. So definitely so. So I did get. Let's see how many of these did I end up getting? My goodness, one, two, three, four, five. Six. I got six of these. Six of these right here. So that tells you how much I like them. Um, as a freebie, they did give me um, the Peach and Lily brand reset button, soothe and restore um, sheet mask for irritated, angry skin. I have used this. If you've seen some of my um, sheet mask reviews, which I will be having one of those coming up here pretty soon. Um, I usually have something from Peach and Lily in there. They also sent with it a um, free little makeup bag that says, don't forget your sheet mask. And then it has a little Peach and Lily there. It's just a little basic little makeup bag. I also ordered from Peach and Lily um, my Maycoop Bra Sauce. This is an essence. I started using this, um, had gotten it from Sephora and got it last year. And this year I was going to buy this big bottle of it and Sephora will no longer ship this product to the United States. I don't know why. I mean, everybody else does. But if you're looking for a good essence, this is called the Makeup Raw Sauce. Um, like I said, I've been using it. I'm on my second bottle of it now. It's all sealed up. I was going to show you what the bottle looked like. <laughs> I can't get it open. Oh, I am in focus. I've been having problems with my camera. I don't want it to keep me in focus. Okay. It's in a cute little little bag. I didn't know it was going to be a little bag. I hadn't opened it. But it just looks like this here. And if you're not familiar with an essence, an essence is part of the Korean tin care, skin care, the 10 step skin care step. Which I know it sounds it sounds like a lot, but your skin is worth it. It is worth for you to sit down or stand at your va vanity <clears throat> and take care of your skin. But the essence is used after you have done your double cleanse, and then you do your toner, and then you do an essence, and then you go into your treatment products, and then a moisturizer, and then if it's of the morning, your sunscreen, and if it's at night, then you can do like a sheet mask or something to that effect, or a sleeping mask. I have to get a drink. I start getting a tickle. I don't have a tickle in my throat all day until I sit down to start talking to you guys, and then I get a tickle. <clears throat> and it's funny that I'm sitting here talking to you guys and doing this video, and my phone here, and I'm getting comments on the video that I just posted today, which was my um, favorites. And um, and for you, 2000 High, <laughs> I got your message. I did. I got it. And I'm going to go to, to um, oh, come on, camera. Okay, and I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and look for that essence, that toner essence that you just told me about. So, i got to take my sweater off. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Whew, this Oklahoma weather yesterday, it was like 50 degrees for high, and it was rainy and cold, and then today it's like 70-something. I don't know how to dress. Anyway, so the last product that I ordered from Peach and Lily was um, a foundation. This is from, no it's not, this is not the last thing. From Kojendo. Um, this is the Aqua Foundation, and I did get it in the color number 12. Um, one of my videos you would have seen where I had ordered from, directly from Kogen, Kogendo, a little um, foundation packet sample, sampler, a sampler packet. Anyway, it was a bunch of different samples of the different colors, so I could see, you know, what color I wanted, and I ended up picking color number 12, and I picked ended up um, selecting the aqua found foundation instead of the the other one that they have and I forget what it's called but anyway this is it right here the color which I know looks a little light but once I get my powder on and bronzers and all that kind of stuff it's a really it's a good match for me um, compared to all the other ones so 
that is it there. So I did get that and I went and I'm glad I waited. I was going to order it from Sephora with the 20% off and I couldn't make up my mind which color I wanted and I hadn't used all of those samples yet. So I thought, well, I'll wait because they had sent with those samples a $10 off coupon to order directly from Ko Kojimbo. So, and I was still, I'm still using the samples, by the way. Those little samples, I was able, to, each one was able to get, gosh, maybe two times at least out of. And for the most part, just about every color worked for me. There's not a whole lot of difference between the color ranges. So, anyway, so I did get the number 12. And I also did get from Peach and Lily from Kojendo. Ko not say that the cleansing spa water and the way that I like um, cleansing waters is of the morning to use to cleanse my face um, so I'll wet my face with this instead of tap water then I'll use a cleansing water to put in with my cleanser and then I'll cleanse and then I will rinse my face with tap water so I did get that from peach and lily and Peach and Lily also included in their order, um, says thank you for shopping with us. And they talk about and give you the step-by-step -step on how to execute. Hello, I'm back. And as you can see, different clothes, different makeup, different everything. I don't know what happened to the rest of the video that you just seen. Um, where I'm showing you all my skincare that I ordered from the different um, Korean websites. I don't know what happened to it. I went and I edited everything, uploaded it just like I always do. And I was working on my tags for this video. And I was thinking, this video was longer than just 10 minutes. Like, what's going on? And of course, after I get done doing all that, I erase everything. Um, I don't save anything because it just takes too much space on my computer for one thing. Um, second of all, I'm down to my last SD card <laughs> and so I just erase it off the SD card and just keep reusing that. So I lost everything. Everything. So the rest of the video, the products are going to be not in their original boxes. Um, some of them have been used. And I don't remember exactly where I got everything. Um, I know the two places that these products came from was either Soko Glam or Glow Recipe. One of those two places. Um, so, let's get on with the rest of the video. I don't remember where I ordered what from, so I'm just going to start with... Um, maybe how I would, in the order I would use it, and um, in the order I would use it for the 10 step um, Korean skincare regime. So anyway, um, the first product from um, Manila is the, um, what is this called? The Clean It Zero, and this is a solid oil cleansing balm, and um, it has a little pop on it and there's a little spatula which I left in my bathroom because I have been using this one and it's just a solid cleanser that you just um, take a little bit of out you rub it all over your face and as you are rubbing it it emulsifies and turns into an oil and then it gets all your makeup and then you put some water with it and then turns into like a milky cleanser um, has a little bit of a scent to it but not not overly scented so it's not anything that's going to irritate the skin and so that was from um, Benella Benelico is where that was from so that was a cleanser um, that would be your first step um, which would be taking off the makeup the second step would be cleansing the skin and for that I have this product here and I think it's um, S S S Zoom. I'm not for sure. Um, you can can you see that there? And um, I'm using something different. I'm using 
my computer for a monitor because I can't see that far <laughs> and I'm trying to correct that going in and out in and out in and out business so I'm doing something totally different as far as settings so I can't do any like close-ups like this because it's just going to be blurry you're not going to be able to see that so um, but anyway enough that the product um, Eshum I think is what this is called but it's a Miracle Rose cleansing stick and this is so cool I've never seen a cleanser like this but it does it's a stick just like a stick of deodorant and it has little bits of um, roses in there and you just kind of roll it up just a little bit to put onto the skin so after you use this your skin is rinsed and your skin is wet while your skin is still wet you just kind of rub it a little bit over and then you rub it all in and it kind of foams up a little bit and yeah and I love I love this scent it's kind of like a um, like a dried rose scent is what it, sm it smells like not like a fresh rose but more like a rose that has been dried but anyway so I have that I've been enjoying that okay another product that I have that could also be used as a second step cleanser is this right here from Neogen and this is the Real Flower Cleansing Water Rose and um, hopefully you can see here where there's actually um, pieces of rose petals in here and you just kind of shake it up a little bit that's how I like to do it and then you just saturate your cotton ball and just rub it all over the face this does smell like rose. It smells so good. And it has a little um, little pore spout, so it doesn't um, just. You can control the amount. Oh, that smells so good. I love it. Mm, that smells good. So I have that from Neogen. Another item that could be used as a cleanser or as a toner, and this is from Sun and Park, and this is the Beauty Water. This could also be used as an essence. So this product here is very multifunctional, um, and it does not have. It has a little bit of a smell, but not not too bad. It's more like a fresh a fresh scent. This one I had to be really careful because this is so liquid. It's not as as thick as this. This, even though it has a pore spout, it comes like pouring out. So I had to be careful with that. But um, a park it had really good reviews both of those items matter of fact all these items have had really good reviews and was talked about a lot in the videos that I watched a um, next step would be possibly doing a um, no the next step would be no I'm gonna back up it would be this one which is the because it's a wash off it's a mask normally you wouldn't do your mask in this order but because this is a rinse off mask you would um, but this is the skin food skin food rice mask wash off and I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not but anyway oh my goodness this stuff oh, smells good and it's just white and it has some um, like granules in it which I think is probably like the rice powder and you just rub it all over the face and I like to let it sit there I'm not really for sure what the directions say to do um, but I use it kind of like as a face a face polish and then let it set for a little while and then I rinse it off I've only used it once but I did like it then the next step would be um, a essence and I got I know I got this from Soko Glam because Soko Glam when I ordered this was doing 40% off Nisha and this is the Time Revolution, the first treatment essence moist, intensive moist. So it's this guy here. And the reason why I wanted to get this one was because there was really good reviews on it. Two, I've heard a lot about the Nisha brand. I'm very familiar with the Nisha brand. And three, um, supposedly this is a dupe for the SK2 essence. And the SK2 essence, a bottle like this would be like $150 to $200. And this is like nowhere near that price so I definitely want to give this a try um, this definitely would not be good for travel because it is a glass bottle but it's a really pretty glass bottle but anyway and so far I have been 
enjoy this. It doesn't hardly have any scent to it at all. And it does have a little bit of a, a poor spout to it. So, okay. So I have that. And then, oh, I've got that backwards. Toner would be before the essence. See, I'm getting myself confused. It is a little confusing with the skincare. Doing the 10 steps as far as keeping things in order. <laughs> I have a little chart that I have in my bathroom that I have everything written down on the days that I want to use stuff because I have so much and I want to make sure that I'm rotating through it. But anyway, this product here is from Wamisa and this is the Organic Flower Toner Deep Rich, which looks like this here. Again, this is a product that was very well um, talked about on the videos that I watched. Also, this was one that a lot of people used for the seven skin method, which is basically using um, your, to your toner seven times in a row. That sounds excessive, but you don't use very much to do it. You just use um, like a drop or two like this. And then you just rub it in between your hands, your fingers, and then you start patting it all over your face. And you just do it seven times. You repeat that seven times. Yeah, I'm telling you. I like it. I like doing that. I do. I've been enjoying that. I think I even talked about that in a favorites on how much I am enjoying doing the seven skin step. Um, incorporating that into my regime. Um, and then I did order um, two vitamin C products. One is from Claire's. And this is the Pure Vitamin C Plus right here. Um, this one I'm not too sure about because um, I know that vitamin C is very unstable and with this being in a clear bottle um, I think this is just a derivative of vitamin C so maybe that's why they felt like they could put it in a clear bottle and it's going to stay stable but I did order it because it had good reviews and a lot of people talked about it and it is a little bit of an oily um, consistency as you can see here on my hand, but um, it doesn't seem to have any kind of um, stinging to it. So maybe if you're very sensitive to acids like this or like to a vitamin C, you might try this one. And then the other vitamin C that I got is from Cosrx, and this is the Triple C Lightning Liquid. And this one has like 30% vitamin C in it. Here's what the bottle looks like. It is in a um, blue bottle. It is dark. They do recommend that um, to keep this stable and keep it, um, the, the vitamin C in there active is to refrigerate it. So that's what I have done. I keep it in the refrigerator. And again, it's a little bit of an oily consistency. And you just rub it around like this and use that. So hopefully it's supposed to help with brightening and with hyperpigmentation. I hope so. I do have some almost like um, melaza, is that how you say it, right here that I'm starting to develop and I'm sure it's just from years past of so much sun worship that is coming back to to haunt me. So I do have a spot here that I want to be working on trying to get lightened up. And then I also have a little bitty spot right here. And I'm sure that's from because I do the majority of the driving from the sun coming in on the driving driver's side. And I'm trying to get better at wearing my sunscreen every day. It's just really hard because it's a habit that I'm not into. But I have found a sunscreen that I really like that I don't that I don't feel like it interferes with um, how my makeup lays and it doesn't make me feel like I'm suffocating. So anyway, okay, so I think the last product then that I have is this product here. And this is from, what brand is this from? Um, oh, what was this brand? I forgot what this brand was called. Darn it, and it doesn't have their, It doesn't say on here which it may, but it's in Korean. But it's the Press Serum, the Tundra Chaga Chaga for Ultimate Nutrition and Firmness. Oh, Blythe. Here it is, Blythe. I was wanting to say it was Believe, but it's this here. And it's just a 
it's kind of like a hybrid between a serum and a moisturizer so it's more like a gel type consistency and you just take it's kind of ugly but you just take a pea size amount about that amount right there I don't know if you can see that or not is that going to help and you just kind of rub it around and then you just press it into the skin and I put this on um, before moisturizer so and that's how you would apply that and that's supposed to just help to really um, hydrate and plump up the skin and help reduce those um, fine lines and wrinkles by plumping and adding hydration into the skin so I have that I got that okay so that went a lot quicker um, y'all might be glad that the other part of the video got <laughs> demolished because that went a lot quicker than that other part because I didn't have to unbox everything so and then show you so everything was already unboxed so anyway that was it for part one of my Korean skincare haul I hope that you have enjoyed and will give me a big old fat thumbs up and I'll talk to you